Several traces of his palace have remained in the land of Raffaello, real or imaginary traces, paintings attributed over time to his hand. In Fano, coastal city, Giovanni Santi and Pietro Perugino operated in the same years at the church of Santa Maria Nuova in San Lazzaro. The paintings were transferred a century later to the historical centre of the city where they can still be admired and compared. Beside the Visitazione by Giovanni Santi, Perugino left an Annunciazione and an altarpiece called the Pala Durante from the name of the purchaser. The act of allocating the altarpiece guaranteed Perugino and one of his boys lodging in Fano bread and wine. It is not possible to establish whether this boy was the son of Giovanni Santi. It is certain that, during the course of history, the paternity of several parts of the work have been attributed to the 14-year-old Raffaello. The historian Roberto Longhi saw the fresh and original hand of the youth in the first section of the altar step, portraying the Natività della Vergine. At present, however, we tend to attribute the entire altarpiece to Pietro Perugino. It is said that Raffaello could confront and emulate Perugino later in Umbria when he was an adult and an already confirmed painter. Continuing along the coast, in Pesaro, a fresco attributed to the young Raffaello is conserved on the walls of the cathedral. It is a Madonna with child between Saints Geronimo and Pietro, filled with a tender and dreamy air close to the Raffaello poetics. Returning up into the hinterland in Urbino in the Ducal Palace, there is the female portrait unanimously recognised as a masterpiece of Raffaello's portraiture. It was donated to Urbino by the city of Florence in 1927. The large, eloquent eyes and the closed lips of the young girl portrayed evoke the name that has since been given her over time, La Muta, the Mute. The introspective look of the painter into this woman restores her psychological complexity. It is believed to be Giovanna Feltria, daughter of Duke Federico, who the painter had good relations with. Raffaello worked at the painting in 1508 when he was in Florence, in the pulsating heart of the Renaissance. Here he knew, studied and imitated the works of Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. La Muta, so close to the Gioconda, is the fruit of an adhesion to Leonardo da Vinci motifs. (laughs) 